All right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this works this time because I freaking hate when stuff like this happens. But anyway, welcome back. This is part two of this episode because I hate these. But anyway, let's see if this thing will work as we have part two of this episode. We will have the Unholy Three versus Chaos. Hopefully, you all liked the first part before it started being an ass on me. But I'll make sure on my end that it's okay. So hopefully this freaking thing works. I'm normally not happy if it doesn't. Okay, so... I'm going to do it now to make sure that it's not doing these stupid things to me. Is to make sure it's okay on my phone as well. So far, it's okay. So, hopefully it works during the match. Because actually, the first three matches, it worked fine. Just during this match, it didn't want to work. So, hopefully we don't have that problem again during this part. Hopefully it loads. That's the one problem. Hopefully it does load. Oh, hey, Shockwave. Welcome back to this part of the... Part 2 of the stream. I do have... I am watching on my end as well to make sure that no crap happens to it again. If it does, I have... I have an alternative plan. I'll just do it tomorrow. Because today just could be a day where Twitch does not want... Or in my Xbox it does not want to cooperate with me. It did well in the first three matches. I didn't really have any problems on the first three matches. Good. But anyway, uh, we'll not do announcing because what's the sense? If you guys did not see the first part yet, go ahead and watch some of that. Of course, you, you, you can skip the part where this thing, where a little bit of this match happened. Because what's the sense of watching a match that's, that kind of got thrown out due to the fact that the game just didn't want to do it. But here we go. Let's begin. Match number four. As right now, Kenny's going after Okada. Donahashi is beating down Bomber, and we got Ishii against. No, we got Ishii and Bomber, and we got Tanahashi and Brave Plan. Okay, so far it looks good on my end. So we should be okay right now. Clown with a big power bomb on, on Ishii. Tanahashi with the knee to the head of Joe Kenny. Bomber, choke slam. Ooh, double arm neck breaker to the shoulder of Tanahashi. That was brutal by Tanahashi. The world strongest slam right to Tanahashi. Good to see that uh, everyone's in the ring currently at the moment. We have any outside chaos. He made uppercut by Okada. Kenny just pulverizing Tanahashi like he's a piece of hamburger meat. He's going after Tomato Ishii, which would be a 
Amazing match to watch. Come to Ishii versus Joe Kenny. Kick to the ribs there. Hamato Ishii. Oh, oh, Ray playing with a slam right, right to the back of Tanahashi on the floor. Well, Tanahashi's spine is okay. Claw here by Bomber on the floor. Uh, hopefully Bomber realizes they can't win this match via submission on the outside. Now this match is spilled to the floor. Bomber's in the ringer now and he's flexing. What is he, why is he flexing for? That's not smart. Tanahashi with a figure four on the outside. That's a pretty good idea by Hiroshi Tanahashi. Now we got Bomber and Okada, who countered by Okada. Is there ev uh, everything okay on your end there, Shockwave? Okada with a clothesline. He steps through. Okada, big old lariat. Looks, it sounds great so far. Good. Three walk through close lines by Kazuchika Okada. Good counter by Bomber. Bomber covers. Bomber for the win and a kick out. Clubbing blow by a Bomber right on the chest of Kazuchika Okada. Okada stomping the ring, ring of the arm of a bomber here, and he says, eat my dust. Bomber's going, bomber's going to make him pay. Bomber, Simone drop. Bomber drops the elbow on the rainmaker, Okada. Bomber, splash right to the ribs of Okada. Here's the cover by the bomber, broken up by Kamatoishi. A good break up there by Ishii. The stone pit bull. Bomber dropped on the ropes by Ishii. Slam there by Tanahashi. Tamato Ishii, two handed choke slam. Bomber rolls to the floor, make sure he's okay. Okada with a dive, but he missed. Okada misses a dive. And oh, a vertical suplex around the outside. A little full Nelson here on Tomata on uh, Ishii. Bomber, Okada throws Rave Clown back in. Tomato Ishii thrown back in too. Toishi feeling it up right now, but look out, Joe Kenny's getting back in the ring. He's gotta be careful. Ishii with a power bomb. Kenny going after Tamato Ishii. Gunt wrench suplex right to Tamato Ishii. Ray Clown picks him up, Ray Clown. Kenny, gunt wrench blocked by Ishii. Ray Clown with a beautiful spinning heel kick. Oh, these shots by Ray Clown. We're gonna upload a horror and monster battle royal. That sounds interesting. Oh, on the knee of Ishii driven right to the mat. Good God, that's gotta hurt a lot. Next suplex to Kenny by Okada. Ray Clown, what a drop kick. Ray Clown. Um, yeah, I guess Ray Clown is trying to di dial it up because he thinks he's Ray Mysterio. Well, he's not Ray Mysterio, so I have to break it to him. Ishii Kenny, oh, and Ishii takes out Joe Kenny. Oh, Tornado DDT. No, he's not. <laughs> Okada meeting Ray Plan. No, everyone's in the rain against Okada. It's three versus one for Okada right now. Okada's in trouble. Okada's in desperate trouble. It's three on one. And here's Hiroshi Tanahashi trying to save his partner. Slain Blade. Slain Blade by Tanahashi and it got broke up. It got broken up. Ray Clown 
Twist of fate on Tanahashi. The pen Tanahashi, but it's broken up. Uh oh, Kenny, Kenny. Screw fly. Solution. Screw fly solution. Kenny Ishii kicks out. Tama Toishi kicked out of the screw fly solution. Oh no. Ishii's in desperate trouble. Here comes a spear. And he got the spear on, on Tama Toishi. Will that be enough? You now Kenny's calling him up for that screw fly solution. Screw fly solution again on Tama Toishi. Oh, but Ishii got up. Ishii feeling no pain at all. Oh, but a back suplex would take him out. Kenny and Tanahashi. Belly to belly for Tanahashi. Tanahashi says no. Try to suplex it. Stopped by Ray Flown. Ray Flown. Oh, oh, snap suplex. Okada trying to stop this 2-1-1 that the uh, Unholy 3 have advantage on. Oh, a fallway slam. Kenny throws Okada back in. Surprised that no one else is in the ring around with Okada. Kenny's unstoppable. Yeah, he's been unstoppable in this match. But Hiroshi Tanahashi and Okada and Ishii have shown the resiliency. Ray Flam throws Okada on the end. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okada's in desperate, desperate trouble. Twist of fate from the second rope. A twist of fate to the set from the second rope on Okada. But Okada kicked out. How the hell did Okada kick out of that? Kazuchika Okada kicks out of the second rope twist of fate. Oh, Ray Flown a sucker punch by Ishii. The, the stone pit bull has Ray Flown up on his shoulders and drops him. Ishii, is he trying to hit the vertical drop brain buster? He sets it up for it. Got the brain buster, he hit it. To put away Ray Flown. And Ray Flown somehow kicked out of it. Oh, how the hell did Ray Flown kick out of that? Oh, jawbreaker. Jawbreaker by Ray Flown. What a hell of a fight this has been between these two trios. Ishii all alone in the ring right now. Ray Clown, senton. Standing senton from the top rope. On Tonto Ishii, and a splash. Cover to put him away. Kick out by Ishii. Tomato Ishii kicked out. Uh oh, Okada. Ray, uh, I think that was a Rainmaker. I don't know, I couldn't see it. Rainmaker by Okada. Okada, kick out by Ray Flown. Okada the Rainmaker, but a big kick out by Ray Flown. Okada, Kazuchika Okada trying to put it away. Okada thinking Rainmaker, the German suplex. Transitions it, Rainmaker. Rainmaker. Got it. Kazuchika Okada gets the win. Pinning Ray Flown off of a Rainmaker. Here's your winners of the match. Kazuchika Okada, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and Tomato Ishii. Chaos. So Chaos has just picked up their first two points of the tournament, beating the Unholy Three. A Rainmaker by Okada puts out Ray Clown and he puts his lights out. What a win by the reigning IWGP six-man tag team champions. And they're showing why this should be feared. And now once again we got a rivalry ensued. It's Bull Run versus Wrestling's Worst Nightmare. We all know that Wrestling's Worst Nightmare 
had definitely had this date scheduled and check marked and everything when they found out the dates for this tournament. So let me just update the standings here on my spreadsheet. So far right now on top of Group B is Chaos, Rockabilly Connection, and Los Internobles El Japon. All those three teams have two points. I, I got a big feeling that this this Group B could come very well down to Los Internobles El Japon and Chaos, which that would be a fantastic trios match. Yoda Suji, Shino Takagi, and Naito versus Okada, Tamatoishi, and Hiroshi Tanahashi. I mean, that would be an ultimate match. But the rivalries once again ensued from Shockwave Wrestling. This all happened because Marcus and Gabriel Kidd, their little feud that they have with Bull Rum when Marcus was still with Bullet Club. Next thing you know, that rivalry transitioned into when Marcus formed wrestling's worst nightmare. Him, Macklin, Price, all of them are trying to take the tag team titles away from Bull Run. But this is but this is definitely a starting point if they want to do that. If they can beat Bull Run. After this, we only have two... I believe we only have two more matches left after this. Which those two matches will be the Bullet Club War Dogs versus the United Empire and to end the night, Boomtown Saints versus Funky Weapons. Just uh, change something here in my spreadsheet that I got wrong. Okay, there we go. Fix that all up on the standings. And now we get to finally go to the ring for this match. Is here we go. It's Bull Run versus Wrestling's Worst Nightmare. Wrestling's Worst Nightmare is being uh, brought by Marcus, Price, and Macklin this time. I, I guess Marcus really wants to prove to the world that him, Macklin, and Price can win those trios championships. But uh, God knows what will happen with this. And here we go, Bull Run versus Wrestling's Worst Nightmare. And Marcus is going straight for Banjo, I believe. Going right for him. Got Price, Sanders, and Ray Little. Oh, Ray Little! Ray Little with the pin, but a kick out by Price. You think Bull Run will lose this? Oh, that's interesting. Interesting words there from Shockwave. Steve Macklin stomping away at the hand of a believe that's Plow. I think I oh yeah. Ray Little's the guy without the shirt on. If I remember correctly, Plow is the big guy and Banjo is the guy with the hair. With the brown hair. Macklin with a beautiful belly to belly suplex to Ray Little. Down goes Price Sanders. 
believe that's Marcus Plow fighting on the outside. Macklin is just beating the holy crap out of Ray Little. Cover Macklin to win it for wrestling's worst nightmare by a kick out by Ray Little. Big Bulldog by Plow. This would suck if I go out through the whole match just for Shockwave to tell me, oh wait, no, sorry, that's Banjo and that's Plow. <laughs> Big splash of Banjo. Ray Little snake eyesing Steve Macklin on the turnbuckles. There's a bear hug on Bryce Sanders by Banjo. Plows with, yeah, plows the jeans. Okay, there we go. I figured it out now. Okay, so plows on the outside right now. Ray Little, the spike pile driver. Ray Little, the cover on Marcus. Ray Little, what a kick out. Uh oh, Bryce Sanders has plow and a clutch. Rear naked choke on plow. Marcus is doing a perfect job taking out Banjo. But plow. Plow fights out of it. Plow with a cover, but a breakup for Marcus. Oh, spine buster by Plow. Plow with a spine buster to beat Bryce Sanders, but a kick out. Dragon suplex Marcus, but a breakup there by Plow. Wow, Marcus. Marcus just hit everything is evil. What the hell? Oh, and a back kick there by Marcus, right to the head of, of Banjo. Cover, kick out there by Banjo. Banjo trying to take out Marcus. Ray Little's in trouble. He's gonna be taken to Suplex City by Bryce Sanders. Kick out there by Marcus. Ray Little eats these big old Germans. Bryce Sanders, KIA. Sanders with a KIA kick out. And now submission by Sanders on Ray Little. Will Ray Little tap out to Price Sanders? Nope, good counter. Oh, Ray Little transitioned into a pin. Ray Little, Ray Little kick out. Price Sanders, a big kick out. Sanders spine buster, wait a minute, Death Rider. Oh, great, great, 2K, 2K. Oh no, 2K just ruined this match because, uh, because Plow, Plow is stuck right now outside the barricade and there's no way he can get out of it. Oh my God, 2K, damn it, 2K. Uh, for Christ's sakes, 2K, did you really have to do this? Of course, this isn't a 2K game if there isn't stupid glitches like that. Marcus is trapped in, oh, low blow. Marcus with a low blow to get out of that submission by Ray Little. What the hell is going on with Banjo? Oh wait, no, Banjo teleported back in the ring. <laughs> Banjo just teleported right back in the ring. <laughs> or my, I'm at my bad, Plow. Plow just teleported back into the ring. Or should I say it in the ringside area. That was hilarious. I was not expecting that, but he just teleported back into the ring. I mean, that's definitely one way to tell 2K to stop. You just teleport back into the, back into the, uh... <laughs> wow. I I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Who would have thought that that would be happening today? Someone done the photo. Ray Sanders belly to belly. So far, not too many pins have happened, but it's definitely been an interesting match. Oh, Sanders from behind. This isn't even the main event. We still have two more matches after this. Sanders, Marcus. Oh, dropped right on his back. Ray Little knee drop. Banjo dropping Marcus. Ray Little going after Bryce Sanders. I guess that's revenge. 
Marcus told Le uh, told Christopher Liu and Iron Taylor Iron Taylor to stay out of this match. Macklin KIA, Steve Macklin might have just won the match for Mar wrestling's worst nightmare. Here's the cover, broken off. Macklin thought he had it won, but Banjo stopped him. Marcus, oh, nice kick counter from Marcus. Marcus the drop kick, he missed. Plow, of course it's a Banjo, sorry. Banjo, broken up. Macklin, oh, nice elbows by, by uh, Banjo. And oh, back elbow from Steve Macklin, a Judas effect. I don't know what's going on with Marcus, but he's kind of wobbly in the ring right now. Something's definitely going on with Marcus. He's kind of in a weird area. Oh, Marcus with the gun symbol right there. I think Ray Little just did a spinning toll hold. Well, I'm sorry, Ray Little, but you're not Terry Funk. The battle right now going on outside. Oh, a time a drop by Palau. Cloud going after Bryce Sanders. Marcus and Banjo fighting once again. Been some very close pinfalls in this match, but no one's gotten the win yet. Sanders is in the ring though right now. Oh, power on to Marcus, and he swung into the steps. It was a hell of a move by Banjo. There's an elbow right there. This has just been a chaotic match on the outside. There's been hardly anything inside the ring. This has been all outside. Marcus is on the barricade. I don't like where this is going for him. Banjo is a brute. Yeah, I agree, he is. Banjo back suplex to Bryce Sanders. I think Marcus is out cold right now. If I was Bull Run, I would just throw him back in and go after him. Macklin taunting right now. He's in the ring waiting for someone. He's waiting for a fight. You can tell Price Sanders wants a fight right now. He also says bell, bad smells. Yeah, that's what do you expect? It's bull run. Right now, Plow is in the ring right now against Price Sanders. Oh, Thomas Roth by Plow on Price Sanders. Sanders picked up here. Plow, boss man slammed by Plow. Oh, and a kick out. Oh, man. Uh-oh, Plow's trying to end this match. Plow, another one blocked by Sanders. Sanders trying to take out Plow, but Banjo's back in the ring. Chris Sanders has to watch himself. Sanders, snap, two flags. Here's the cover. Marcus, Death Rider. Marcus, the Death Rider for the win, but there's no cover. There it is now. And a kick out. Plow the kick out. Ray Little going after Marcus here. Axe handles the back. Acklin stopped. What a move by Price Sanders. And now he's got, he, he's got Plow on himself. Sanders, and, and bang, and there it is. Mishino Poo Driver. That's game, that is game. Wrestling's worst nightmare has secured their points. Here's the winners of the match. Steve Macklin, Marcus King, Price Sanders. Wrestling's worst nightmare. So Steve Macklin with a Mishinoku driver. Now, now uh, Plow may may uh, talk to the referee about the rope break, but there are no rope breaks. There are no rope breaks in these matches. So, even though he might want to disagree with the referee not calling a rope break, there are no rope breaks. But wrestling's worst nightmare gets on the board tonight. All right, second to last match before the main event. We got the United Empire. 
consisting of Aaron Hernare, Great O'Conn, and Will Ospreay as they're facing Bullet Club War Dogs, Alex Tarl and Gabriel Kidd, and Drilla Maloney. After this will be our main event of the evening of the Funky Weapons versus the Boom Down Saints. Now after the main event is over, I'll give out the schedule of matches for our next episode for for all the uh, trios. As everyone will be in action. So let me just update my uh, standings here. After that insanely chaotic match. So that will put Wrestling's Worst Nightmare up with the Interlactic Jet Setters in the House of Torture for the top of Group A. This will be the last match of Group B today. Because the main event will be Group A. Basically, you'll just switch who main events what. What about, what about me? Am I going to be in action? Uh, no, you will not be in action today. You may have a match to, on the next episode. That's okay. That happens. I mean, I had to do some with my Xbox. By the way, Shockwave, is everything still okay? Just to make sure, because I know you're the first one to find out the problem that I had. Hopefully everything is going okay without... Nice. Yeah, it's everything's okay so far? Okay, nice. This is actually a pretty big couple of weeks coming up for your, the United Empire. So, tomorrow, Hernare faces Eddie Kingston for the... IWGP Strong Openweight Championship. Then the following week on Saturday, Will Ospreay puts his United States Championship on the line against Shotma Umino. Also that same show, John Moxley faces Great O'Conn. So, will Will Ospreay join WWE? I don't think so. Right now, his two best chances are both AEW and TNA. He's, he's got both eyes on TNA and AEW, so I don't know. As let's uh, head out to the ring for this big match. So, Shockwave, well, I want to know your uh, thing right now. What match was better? What, what match was better? Was it Wrestling's Worst Nightmare versus Bull Run? Or was it Chaos versus the Unholy Three? What match, in your opinion, has been better? Because both matches were good matches. And there's Bullet Club War Dogs. They're getting ready for the fight here of the main e of the uh, co-main event, and here we go. Chaos the Unholy 3 by a small margin. I agree, actually. I do agree with that. I do agree. That was a very damn good match. It was a very close one, indeed. Yeah, Will Ospreay going after Trilla Maloney. I don't blame him for doing that. Oh, and here we go. Gabriel Kidd and Will Ospreay. These two hate each other. Our next pay-per-view will be when the finals of this tournament will happen. Nice kicks by Osprey on Maloney. Spanish fly. You would join TNA, NWA, New Japan, or one of them, okay. Actually, Christopher, you would probably join uh, AAA because you like AAA a lot. But uh, I would join New Japan. I really like New Japan. I think that I'll probably find a way to fit in with them. Good break up by Osprey. Hurricane Rana by Gabriel Kidd. And now we got a little three on two advantage for the Bullet Club right now. 
JPW rules. Yep, big. Uh, it's been pretty good so far for New Japan with their uh, Super Junior Tag League going on right now. It's been pretty fun watching that tournament. The finals of the tournament will happen on November 4th, the same day that uh, Power Struggle happens for New Japan. Will Ospreay and Gabriel Kidd, they've had that problem with each other ever since Royal Quest 3 when Gabriel Kidd attacked Osprey from behind. They fight in December, I believe. Covered by Kidd for the win, and a kick out there by Osprey. Osprey caught by Kidd. Kidd, he's definitely got a lot of newfound confidence since he, him and the others won the eight-man match at dead end. When, when uh, the match ended, when he knocked out Bryce Sanders. But he also knocked out the Iron Taylor at that. An arm bar by Kidd. Kidd again going after the arm of Will Ospreay. That's actually pretty smart by Gabriel Kidd to take out the arm of Will Ospreay. Loney the push knee and it's stopped by Kidd. German by Ospreay. Kidd from behind, blocked. Ospreay with a flip drop kick. And now all members of the United Empire are in the ring. Oh, and Kidd's leg right into the ropes. Bernare dropped toe hold in the drop kick. Or should I say the single kick. Nice cutter by uh, Drill Maloney. Maloney slaps with Aaron Hernare. Ooh, a calf crusher here by, uh, by Dredd O'Conn. Osprey had a pretty tough choice. It was either Dredd O'Conn or uh, Jeff Cobb to be uh, the third man tonight, and he decided to pick Brad O'Conn. Gabriel Kidd, double rope suplex. Cover, Kidd for the win. Kick out by Osprey. Nice forearm shot by, by Brad O'Conn, that was. In the head, Gabriel Kidd, think of power driver. And he got it, Gabriel Kidd with that power driver. Kid for the win. Now it's broken up. <laughs> oh, sneezes. Wow, whoa. Holy crap. Don't worry, folks. I did not lose my brain on that sneeze. Oh, jeez. Man, that was a big sneeze. Thank you. Cover. Kick out. I think the bless you on that there, Shockwave. Holy crap, that was a big one. Inverted exploder there by uh, Gray O'Conn. O'Conn and Osprey have the advantage in the ring. Gray O'Conn, back suplex. Roll through by Maloney, a play kick. Hit from behind. Got Osprey, got him. Cover by Gabriel Kidd for the win. And a kick out again by Will Ospreay. The Kidd has been all over Will Ospreay a lot in this match. Kidd, the elbow to the back. And Kidd taunting Ospreay. That woke up something Will Ospreay. Driving Gabriel Kidd with an inverted DDT. Well, this could be it for Kidd. Here comes Stormbreaker. Good counter from Gabriel Kidd, though. Kidd counter Stormbreaker. Renari got dropped. Oh, this is not good. Drilla, killa. Drilla, killa. On Will Ospreay, cover by Kidd. That's game. Bullet Club War Dogs win the match. Here's your winners of the match. Gabriel Kidd, Drilla Maloney, and Alex Conlon. Bullet Club, War Dogs. Drill Maloney with a Drilla Killer.
on Will Ospreay, and Gabriel Kidd pins him for the three count. I think we knew why Trilla Maloney let Gabriel Kidd get the pin. It's because of the bad blood that him and Ospreay have had. Well, that's a big statement for Gabriel Kidd, and that's a big win for the War Dogs tonight, Give them their two points. Because these my dogs, for real. That is correct, Shockwave. These my dogs for real. And now we go to the main event. The Boomtown Saints. Alex Brimstone, LeJohn Lennox, and Ryan Fisher facing the DKC. Eddie Kingston and, and Ryusachi Tajiri, a.k.a. Funky Weapons. It is our main event of tonight. Now, before this match begins, I'm going to give out some matches for our next episode for the tournament. So, I'll start group by group. We're going to start with group B this time. So, your matches for group B on the next episode will be TMDK versus Gorilla, Gorillas of Destiny. The Unholy Three versus Bullet Club War Dogs. You have United Empire versus Rockabilly Connection, which means your main event for next episode, Chaos versus Los Internobles El Japon. Your matches for tomorrow for Group A: the Intergalactic Jet Setters versus Wrestling's Worst Nightmare, the House of Torture versus the Gotham Gang, Funky Weapons versus Bull Run, and Strawn Style versus whoever's left in that group, which I completely forgot. Those will be your matches for next episode. Pretty big. Pretty big matches for next episode. Especially that main event of Los Angeles El Hapon versus Chaos. Definitely be on the lookout for next episode with that big main event of Chaos versus Los Encarnobles El Hapon. Now people might be saying, Marcus, is don't you think it's a little bit too early to be doing a match like Chaos versus Los Encarnobles El Hapon? Yeah, you might be right, but... That's like a big match, and you want the big, big matches as your main events. But anyway, let's head down to the ring for our main event of this episode. Which is Boontown Saints versus Funky Weapons. Of course, I'll skip the entrances. I actually kind of want to turn them off. His entrances take, it feels like forever now. Especially if we use Finn Balor's demon entrance. You're going for the Boontown Saints for this one, says Shockwave. He says that the Saints will beat the Funky Weapons. Well, you'll find out. We will find out if the Boontown Saints can beat the Funky Weapons. Now, people probably want to know why they're called the Funky Weapons. Well, that's just because it's... Uh, Tajiri has on his tights funky weapon, so you add the power of, or say the striking abilities of Eddie Tates and DKC, they're both going to be weapons. You got Fisher versus Kingston, you got DKC and Alex Brimstone. Counter by Brimstone. Right now, we got two people in this match that hold championships. You got Eddie Kingston with the world title, and you have a John Lennox as the YouTube champion. 
Nice kicks by Ryan Fisher and a push knee by Ryan, by, not Ryan Fisher, by DKC. DKC, what a shot to Ryan Fisher. DKC dropped by the Thomas drop by LeJohn. And we got a little fight in the ring between Brimstone and Eddie Kingston. This will be an interesting match, Kingston versus Brimstone. Now Eddie taking it to Brimstone, beat DDT by Eddie Kingston. Here's the cover. And break up there by Ryan Fisher. Kingston picks up Fisher. And he drives him right to his shoulders. Oh, hip attack, no one home for the hip attack. Oh, there it is, hip attack. It's a signature move up to Jerry. He loves the hip attack. Alice Brimstone, oh, he got caught. Big cover here by Kajiri and a kick out. DKC, nice moves. DKC with a triangle, but it was blocked. Right now, Ryan Fisher, Kajiri. Big back body drop by Ryan Fisher. Cover by Fisher. Kick out by Tajiri. Here's Tajiri going after Ryan Fisher. Nice Russian leg sweep. Oh, big clothesline. Choke slam by Kingston. Tajiri off the rope. Stuck down by Fisher. Fisher with a big shot to the ribs. Fisher, spine buster. Ryan Fisher to win the match. Why is he going for a cover? Where is he? That's why he's going to a gore buster. Spine buster with a gore buster on Kajiri. Here's a cover, broken up by Kingston. And he dropped by Brimstone. Alex. They can choke slam on the DKC. And he got it. Choke slam on DKC. Will this win the match? Kick out by DKC. A slingshot by Fisher. Now everyone's going to be in the ring, I guess. Everyone is in the ring. It's two on one advantage, though, for Boomtown. Safe back fist by Eddie. Hard driver by LeJohn. Down goes Brimstoner right now. Eddie. Taking control. Broken up by DKC. LeJohn trying to put away DKC. Good counter though. Really counter by DKC. Take down by Tajiri. Brian Fisher in the ring, going after Kingston. DKC going down on John Lennox. And goes Brimstone by Eddie, cover by DKC. DKC, oh, and a back fist by Eddie. Eddie Kingston for the win. Kick out. Oh, Tajiri tried to go for that hip attack. There goes Eddie, counter, Fisher. Fisher and Eddie in the ring. Those are the only two in right now. Duck down. Stop the camera cuts, please. Cover. Kick out from Eddie Kingston. Eddie's down. Big counter from Eddie, though. Eddie springboard. Oh, he caught the springboard kick. Eddie sent up for the back fist. And Eddie hit it. Got it. Back fist from Eddie. Eddie Kingston for a win. It's broken up. Maybe if the referee didn't take five hours, that'd be better. Oh, Alex dropping Eddie Kingston. Big knee by DKC. Oh, DKC's in bad, bad position right here. Alex Brimstone. Power bomb, big power bomb to DKC. Kick out though, big kick out by DKC. Pound, pound goes Brimstone. He needs to end Kingston. Oh, okay. Ryan Fisher, DKC in the ring. 
Big net breaker by Fisher, but here's Eddie firing off. Eddie snaps suplex. Eddie's got Brimstone all to himself right now. Back fist. Eddie the back fist. Eddie Kingston. Eddie. Oh, and just barely a kick out there by Alex. Oh, LeJohn. LeJohn trying to put an end to this with that pile driver. Cover on Eddie. Broken up by DKC. LeJohn trying to put down DKC. DDT by LeJohn Lennox. Oh, but Eddie caught Lennox. Northrum Lights bomb. He got it, Eddie Kingston. On a kick out. Cover. Broken. Hey, what the hell? The referee count a rope break. There are them, but there are no rope breaks. What's the referee doing calling a rope break? Three on two right now for Boomtown, but here comes DKC. DKC in the corner. DKC throws him. A net breaker. Cover on, on Tajiri. And another rope break, what the hell? DDT. There it is, DDT. And that's game, Boomtown Saints with the win. Ryan Fisher with that big old DDT on DKC for the win. Here's the winners of the match. Ryan Fisher, Alex Brimstone, and the John Lennox. Boomtown Saints. So there's two points on the board for the Boomtown Saints. I felt like at one point Eddie Kingston would have won the match, but a good breakup attempt from Brimstone kept them in the match. But bit, a bit old DDT, good, good job by Brimstone to keep Tajiri away from DKC. And, there, and Fisher was able to get the three. But that's a big win for Boomtown Saints, but they got a tough opponent next week. As I believe they face the Intergalactic Jet Setters, the other team with two points in this. Hope you all enjoyed this, this episode. We'll see you on the next episode where our main event will be a big one as Chaos faces Los Incarnobles El Japon. Hopefully you can watch both parts of this. I'll see if we can't split up a little bit of part one to get away from that match that screwed up. But we'll see you next time for next episode which will probably be tomorrow so keep your eyes out for tomorrow <laughs>